What is up guys, it is the Sound Alchemist, and today I was going to bring you a 40 facts video, but for some reason, the audio keeps getting corrupted. So hopefully this one doesn't get corrupted because I'm using something else, and uh, it's just been really, really frustrating. So, a uh, short video today, apologies, apologies. However, what I do want to ask you guys is two things. One, I'm going to include a character that's going to be representing I guess me into my celestial sons or I could either include that character into the infernal sons so the two questions for you guys is which one should I put myself in or I could put myself in both and then the other question is what model should it be so if you don't know the lore for the Celestial Sons, I'll give you a quick run through. Um, they're the Lost Legion for the 11th Legion back in the Horus Heresy, or Warhammer 30k for that matter. They went rogue after they invaded a planet that was sending out a distress signal. Turns out that Chaos was sticking their nose into it. One thing led to another. The Emperor had to enact the Edict of Obliteration. He ended up killing a vast majority of them, targeting the apothecaries, targeting captains and such. So their ranks, their numbers got decimated. Um, eventually, the Primarch fought against Lehman Russ, and he took a devastating wound. But a faction of this survived. So because of that, they're now basically biding their time trying to rebuild, trying to figure out what exactly happened, what went wrong. And um, now in 40k, they're actually trying to revive the Emperor to showcase that, hey, you know, we're not evil, we're not chaotic. However, a part of the surviving members did indeed become a Chaos Warband known as the Inferno Sons. So... There's a whole bunch of stuff going um, going on. Again, if you want all the details, it's going to come out in an 11-parter starting next year. I'm thinking maybe one a week, once every two weeks, once a month. Because each lore segment is going to take about 20 minutes. And uh, I've got commissions going for like the models, commissions going for the art. It's going to be a big thing. But again, that's in 2019. And uh, I just want to know, like, because right now I have named characters obviously but none of them really represents me as if i was a part of the the army so if i put myself in it a would it be part of the celestial sons b would it be part of the infernal sons or c would i be a loyalist and then i've also gone traitor and then the other question is what type of model would i be am i going to be a primaris which I guess that's one way to include the Primaris into this army. So if you do say, pick a Primaris, um, I need to know exactly how you would include me into it. Um, or I could be like a captain, a librarian. I could be the last remaining apothecary, which was something that I originally was going to do. But I think it'd be more interesting to see what you guys have to say. Um, maybe I can be a Praetor, because again, this army does originate from Forge World, or 40k for that matter, which the Praetor is a Forge World model, so that'll work. Or any other model, um, comment down below and we'll see what happens. Can't wait to read your replies, guys. Um, again, apologies for not putting out that 40 facts video. I don't know why it keeps, the audio keeps getting corrupted. Hey, this might not even show up. <laughs> so, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Sound Alchemist, part of One Mind Syndicate, signing out.